Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm here to talk about the higher education courses that we run at uh, East Sussex College Group. Um, can I introduce you to the team? Uh, the team is myself, David Fowler. I'm the head of higher education for the four campuses. Um, we have Meg Sullivan and Ashley Hemingway, who both work, who are both teaching in the college and work as operational leads and frontline management for, for the courses uh, in the college. Um, as you can see, there's the images of the four college sites that we have. Um, we've got Hastings University Centre Hastings with a dedicated university space on the fifth floor. We have our Eastbourne campus, uh, Orr campus, which looks at technology, and Lewis campus, which looks at counselling and digital media design. Uh, why study with us? Well, we offer uh, at least 40 different courses. Um, the courses are linked to local vocational needs. Um, we have extensive links with local industry. Um, our group sizes are small, so uh, if you were looking at going to a university, you might be in a group size of at least 200. With us, our group sizes are between 10 and 15. Um, we also have uh, a study pattern, which means that you can work um, and study at the same time because we condense the lectures into usually two days. And I think it's worth also noting that our fees are affordable. Our, we have our, our fees tend to be um, usually £1,000, in some cases £2,000 cheaper than at some of the big universities. As you can see, we've got a list of the courses here and we've got a very varied range of courses running from art and design, theatre, digital media, we've got complementary health, construction, uh, lots of engineering and early years and health and social care. Uh, we also do teacher training, so if you've got a degree or if you want to train as a teacher, we can facilitate that up to um, master's level. What will you study? Well, there's so many courses, I can't talk about them here really. We've seen a slide that does show you the courses that we offer, but for specific course information and details, if you'd like to go to the link on this page, www.escg.ac.uk study degree level, all our course information is on those particular web pages. Uh, what is the course entry criteria? Well, we, the course criteria usually is um, level three qualifications up to A level, um, but there we could we also take students with vocational qualifications like BTEX. Um, what we do find is that we have a lot of mature students on the courses, and we find that there might be students if they're mature students that might have got industry experience, which might be enough for them to come on to the courses without the specific re uh, requirements um, of A-levels or level three qualifications, but that would be subject to an interview. Um, what support do you have? Well, you have lots of support actually. We have, um, first of all, we have a student union, um, which is heavily linked to the University of Brighton and they have a student union office. We have a common room and they tend to work with students on um, helping them with their student studies, looking at new opportunities for students, looking at funding for students, looking at arranging social activities and trips, and a real variety of things. And I have to say that the students tend to lead those uh, activities as well, which is really, really good. What our students say about us? Well, we, we have very, very good feedback. Um, I think that what comes through very clear and strong is the support that you get from your from the teaching staff and support staff. I think <clears throat> small group sizes, um, a family type of environment, which I think uh, a lot of students like. They, they like to feel that they're part of something that's reasonably small as opposed to being uh, in a big, big group. And I think it's fair to say that the students choose to study with us because they like that mode of study. Um, and what is unique about our courses? Well, I've talked about this throughout the presentation, but what, what we have and what we're very proud of is that we have small group sizes. I've, the projects are linked to industry case studies, one-to-one -one teaching and support, 
study trips and industry experience and we've got dedicated uh, common rooms and flexible modes of study. Um, if you want to, if you're interested in applying for the course, then you can apply for the funding for the student loan through uh, the website here, gov.uk student finance. And this site is a site that talks to you all about the funding and how to fund for your degree. Um, we have an excellent HE admissions uh, support staff um, who uh, will talk you through the process of funding for your degree. Awards. We've won loads of awards over the years, lots of design awards. We've won recently a health and social care uh, national award. We've also won um, awards in design, uh, glass making, in uh, pewter, and, uh, and students go on and do great things. They go on to postgraduate study or into employment. What is student life like? Well, it's fantastic down here on the southeast. You've got beaches, you've got uh, areas of outstanding beauty. I think the advantage that we have is that we're very close to London, we're close to Brighton, we're also close to Ashford International, which has links, obviously fast links into France. And we find that lots of students, especially students that come from other parts of the country, really enjoy staying with us here um, and the variety that the area offers. How much do our courses cost? Well, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, the degree courses are 7,500 per year, which usually university courses are 2,000 pounds more. Mm -hmm. And our HNCD courses are 5,900 per year. And like we said before, most of the courses take two days a week. So we have a lot of students that study and work at the same time and may have family commitments as well, which they need to consider when they're applying and working on our courses. Um, we're looking at starting in September. Uh, the, uh, we are looking at possible f flexible learning opportunities for students in light of the recent COVID-19. But, but because we have relatively small group sizes, it means that there shouldn't be too much disruption to the way that we normally teach, which is a real asset if you want to study at the college. How can you find out more? We've got a web, if you go to the college website, there's a specific degree level section there. Um, we've also got an email, hello HE, which is our admissions email. So if you've got any questions, any queries, even if you just want to have a chat with somebody, if you email through that uh, email, then we can get somebody to you. We've got the Hastings University Centre Prospectus, Eastbourne and Lewis Prospective with all the courses. And we've also got um, some uh, live videos that our course leads, some of the course leads have done um, to talk uh, uh, about the courses and all the opportunities on those courses, which is really worth what. Um, we're happy for you to join our live QA session, um, which is directly after this presentation, where you can ask the three of us, Ashley, myself and Meg, um, any questions you want to do about studying for a degree with us at the college. So we've got a question already. Um, Tom has asked a question. What is the difference between an FDA, an FDSC and an HND? That's a really good question, Tom. Um, the FDA and the FDSC are, are foundation degrees. So they're the first two years of a full three year degree. A foundation degree in arts or a foundation degree in science, depending which uh, course it is. So most of our students do the first two years as an FDA or an FDSC and then join us for the top up, the BA top up. Um, an HND is the same level as the FDA. The HND first year is known as an HNC and the second year is known as an HND. So in terms of quality of the actual qualification, whether it's an FDFA or an FDSC or an HND, they are all the same. They're all two year courses. Usually, usually taken after level three programs, um, and they are level four and level five qualifications. Shall I answer that? That's is that is, is that okay, Tom? It's David here. Hopefully, that's okay. If not, if you could just please, uh, that's great. Okay, shall I ask? Uh, is that, uh, oh, we've got another question from Tom. So, to start a BA honours course, do we have? 
do we need to complete an FDA course first? As um, Meg has said, if you've done a, an FDA course, the FDA is equivalent to two years of a degree. So depending on what course you, you want to apply for, you could either go on to one of the top up years, which is one year to get your full degree, or you could, we could, be, you could be looking at entering a third year of a degree because the FDA counts as two years of a degree course. We, um, it might be worth adding as well, you might have done an FDSC or an FDA somewhere else. And as long as we can um, make it fit, we'll welcome you into the top up. You don't necessarily have had to have done the first two years here. No. But we need point. to talk about that on an individual basis. Yeah. We've got another question. I think we should go back to the question about um, from Zachary. Um, Zachary's asked a question. Um, what do students tend to do after the course? Well, the, the, the courses that we offer are slightly different to the universities in the sense that they are all have a vocational focus. So the courses are there to help you to, to uh, gain entry into employment, which is not always the case if you do a degree. A degree is an academic course. Um, but the courses that we run are, are there to support you into employment. And we have, we've got students that, have, uh, that work locally in the region because we've got four campus sites. We've got people that work in London, Brighton. We've got people that work all, all the way around the world. Um, I keep in contact I don't, uh, with uh, at least 500 of my ex-students. And I've got people working every, virtually every country or main country in the world. So there's a lot of opportunity there. Is that okay, Zach? Three? We've got Ashley, on. Ashley, your mic's um, still turned off, but um, I wonder, Ashley, if you can turn your mic on. Um, you could answer the, the um, question uh, from Maisie. Can you do any of the courses as part-time students? Uh, yes, you can actually. Uh, we've got several part-time uh, options um, in the arts uh, at Hastings. We've got the design and maker course and the fine art course. We also have our early years course as well, which runs in the evenings and some Saturdays. So really good for um, students who are working. In fact, that course does require you to be doing work. So it's set around that. Um, and several of our HNDs also offer a part-time option. So you can work at the same time time as studying so uh, our engineering mm. and uh, some of our business courses as well and there's another question there from Tom do you do dissertations on all the courses um, certainly all the uh, degree courses we do at the Brighton University they all require dissertations and that's a really lovely chance for you to get really stuck into your area of expertise you become an expert in that area don't let that scare you if you're reading the word dissertation and thinking I can't do all that writing there's a fantastic chance for you to do research, for you to get stuck in and really enjoy becoming that little expert in whatever it is that is interesting to you on your course. And the HNCs and the HNDs don't, they have, they have coursework throughout, they don't have a dissertation as such, but there's certainly um, writing in those courses. It's also worth noting that we don't do exams as well, which I think is a, is a big um, issue for lots of people um, and uh, quite a bonus really. So that's good. And I think the dissertations, one of the things to bear in mind is that you're not just thrown into it. So you'll be working throughout year one and year two, building up your research skills. And, you know, we spend lots of time with doing short writing exercises and helping you to improve the way that you um, sort of do your research, uh, think about what was what will inspire your practice and so on. So there's lots of support along the way. We have an HE mentor as well who's there to help you in Hastings. We have uh, library staff in all of the campuses um, that can support you with finding the right kind of books and research to do. And we've got obviously online support um, with our library um, doing uh, kind of online research as well as um, journals and books and all sorts of things so there's lots and lots of stuff there to actually support you along the way um i saw something earlier from a little message pop up about is it cheaper than going to university elsewhere many of our courses are <clears throat> well all of our courses are cheaper but many of our courses are significantly cheaper so if you study an hnd or um, in year one and year two, so that's level four and level five. Um, that is, David, correct me if I'm wrong, £5,500. 5900 £5,900, thank you very much, Meg. Sorry, slip of the tongue there. Um, and if you study uh, the degrees, they are £7,500. 
Um, and, and, you know, it's not just about the studying at the cost of the tuition fees. It's also about you can stay closer to home. It's going to be a bit cheaper for you to have property and things, uh, you know, living at home or renting somewhere. It's always going to be a little bit cheaper, hopefully. We've got a, a question from Ashley in Eastbourne um, about the student union. And uh, we, we, we have our own uh, student union um, area in all the campuses, which is run by the National St uh, Union of Students. So you have a common room, we have an, H, uh, uh, an office for the NUS staff, and they're there to support students in, in things like well-being, um, pastoral support. They also look at uh, arranging trips and they look at um, running the societies and all the all the um, sort of entertainment side of things. And, and that's another very good resource, which when we were talking about dissertations earlier, even they get involved with things like dissertations. So it's, it's a really, really, um, it's a really, really good organisation that has, it's a massive national resource that we can tap into there as well. And we have um, on campus, we have student union representatives and all the students will automatically be enrolled into the student union um, and they can take part as much as they want. Um, uh, you can get involved in being student rep. Um, you can go in for um, becoming a lead student rep if you want to. So going to um, doing a little bit more with the student union and working with your fellow students, which is always I've, great fun. And I think just to add on to that, that it's really good for your CV as well, employers. Mm -hmm like to see that you're taking a lead with some of these things and uh, it can help you in, in, in a support for a, a job um, application. So we, yeah, good. Okay, I think we've got One more question there about, um, can you fit in part-time job around yeah. my studies? Yes, major majority of our um, students have part-time jobs, um, or as we said, uh, even full-time jobs that can be fitted around. I think it's worth noting that where possible, when you look at the traditional university uh, mode of delivery, it tends to be lectures over a period of a week. And what we find is that because we have a range, a very diverse range of, of students in our courses, people need to support themselves in terms of part-time work or they might have, they might be mature students with family commitments. So what we try and do is condense the course so that you do roughly two days, two full days, which means that you've got you can um, you can work alongside that, or if you've got other commitments, you can work that around that. And that makes a big difference to people as well. We also include half terms um, in that, where traditionally at a university you, you probably wouldn't get half terms off like you would at school or at college. But again, we have people that have got families that need to, or, or they may be carers that they just can't take that time off. And that's that's another asset. Really. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for um, listening to our short presentation. Do get in contact if you'd yeah. like, like any more. Thank questions. you very much indeed. And thank you fam, Ash, to Ashley in Eastbourne in particular. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. 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 Thank you.